like you said, my name is Corina and I live in the US. I, um, I should say Sami G found me on, uh, on uh, YouTube um, about three years ago. I was looking for a Kundalini yoga Kriya and you know, he just popped on the screen and I, that's why I always say he found me. <laughs> And uh, I fell in love with his teaching, with everything, and um, went to um, my first um, in-person, uh, I guess it's a seminar, I don't know what to call it, it's an experience. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the uh, IA, um, in the, which was, I think, I believe the last IA that Swamiji was there in person. <laughs> Um, in 2000, May of 2018. And um, wow. then, of course, I came back to LA and discovered there is a temple nearby. And wow. the rest is history. I've been part of the Sangha in LA for since then. And wow. the last year I moved, um, I, 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 oh, hi, Far. <laughs> I see some friendly faces. Um, I um, moved to Pittsburgh for work. And now, um, you know, I wasn't sure where I needed to go next. And obviously, Davy was so kindly bless, blessing me with the information of where I should go. And, and she, in no uncertain term, told me I have to go back to Southern California. So that's why I'm going back to L.A. <laughs> oh, wow. So you get to yes. be in the temple again. Yes, I'll be there. And uh, every week I've been asking for her blessings, of course, uh, with this big job of selling my house here in Pittsburgh, moving, figuring out housing information, everything just seems like a lot, all of it. And, um, and I just, to tell you the truth, even when I hear her saying Tatas too to anybody, I just feel in bliss. Uh, my heart is joyful I, because I feel like when anybody, any one of us gets blessed by her, it's a blessing for me as well. And I, uh, I just feel in bliss. I just, I, even if I had a long day and I'm exhausted and I just turn on and the video and I'm in bliss and then I just get, <laughs> I get energy and I, I'm happy and that everything is great with the world. I don't care what this <laughs> other people say is happening in the world. To me, everything is great when I'm in front of her. So, um, so that's why I wanted to share because I just, I feel so grateful and um, there is so much love in my heart. I know she loves me, but I, I love her just as <laughs> because she's my beloved mother. So, Absolutely. So can you share um, a little bit about your experience with the Devi Parashakti Akash Readings and what exactly she uh, Devi has blessed you with? Sure. Um, so a couple of times um, I asked for blessings, like specific things, so, um, and she um, she just said, you know, she just she, not just she said that as too, which is a big thing. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, I know everything is going to work out because you know she said so. So there's no question about that. Um, and then uh, one time I, um, okay, so I, I wrote my question, uh, I always start with, you know, beloved mother, you know, and eternally grateful to you and, and much love and all that. And, um, and I ask about uh, specifically um, where I, I should go. I, I, I was in a dilemma about going back to LA or going to Florida or going somewhere else uh -huh. and then I wanted to say um, your your beloved daughter is asking for your blessing something like that and then I change it but this was just between me and and the screen right right and then I said I know she's my beloved mother but I don't know if I'm her beloved daughter maybe I'm, maybe I'm just her daughter so I just said your daughter I change it I, I deleted it <laughs> And then during the Akashic reading, she's like, she she says, no, you're not, you are not just my daughter. You are my favorite daughter. You're my wow. cherished daughter, you know. And wow. I just, I just melted my, if I was like, a, I, I just was a puddle of like warm honey <laughs> dropped on my chair. Like, wow. I, I said, oh my God, she she knew that I I didn't know, it. you know, I wasn't sure exactly. about that. I deleted the words, you know. 
so that was really, really special for me. Um, and then I'm really happy that you wanted to hear. Yes. <laughs> Without you even asking. <laughs> And then I asked her one, another time about her um, manifesting through me, speaking through me, taking action through me to heal um, both my body, um, but also to, you know, but heal me because I had some physical issue, but also to help heal others because all my life that was my, you know, it's kind of like one of my mission in life is to help uh -huh. people heal and, uh, and, um, and she's also said, you know, Tata's too, this is going to be the case. And I, so now I just feel, that's why even doing this, I have to tell you, I'm not, a, I, I get very nervous, you know, to, to public speak or anything like that. And um, I don't know, she just gave me this courage that I can be here in front of you, with you talking about this without, um, you know, because I just know I don't have, a, I don't have to prepare about anything anymore. I just show up and whatever she's speaking through me. So, so I'm that's right through you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful, Ma. So can you share how it's been for you seeing, you know, Swamiji day in and day out, attending to every being? Like you said, you didn't even ask, you didn't really even know if it was okay to ask, but you, you know, she gave you exactly what you wanted just to know that you're her favorite you're her beloved daughter and she just yes. such a small thing but it gave you so much of completion how does it make you feel seeing swamiji is attending like this to every single being to ensure especially during such a time of crisis that he's opening up his own home opening up his time giving up you know everything blessings boons miracles to every single being that is willing to receive it. Yes, uh, and that's a big, um, I think, uh, I don't know, difference, I guess, what you just said, being willing to receive it. Because um, if, we, you know, I, I feel like he's continuously giving, giving, giving. It's nonstop. It's never stopping ever. But it's when, I, I, I should speak about myself, is that when I somehow... Put a, a filter or something here then i can receive it right like so it's always there and i uh, truly believe that um i sometimes with my you know limited like mind sometimes i think oh how can he attend to all the like that's why when i ask for something sometimes i should i ask you know people have you know, really big things, bad things going on. And, you know, my, my problem is so small. Like, you know, should I bother him with this little problem? You know, <laughs> uh, and uh, then I realized it's like, no, he's Paramashiva. Yeah, he can attend to all big, small, and medium, or anything in between, you know, and, and we are all, um, you know, like equally attended to, you know, like it's not, and, and that's how I feel. I just, especially after I was blessed enough to meet him in person in Bidadi, uh -huh. um, and we we actually travel on the weekend with Manya Natma to some temples and wow. he join us and we did a homa sitting next to him <laughs> doing a homa like in one of the Davies temples and I just oh my god like I just uh, feel so loved and taken care of and I'm just not afraid about anything you know even through this whole year like the pandemic and I all this everybody's like scared and and I just go through life with I do what I have to do and I just know you know if I'm being taken care of I'm mean, being protected I'm being watched over and you know, and if God forbid, even like, you know, if, if the time comes that, you know, it's my time to die, then I know I'm going to be liberated. So what is there to be afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of. What's your beautiful you know? cognition, Ma? Yeah. So, you know, you were sharing like how your experience has been so different from everybody else's. How does it make you feel, you know, in such a time of crisis, you're having I can say maybe a lot of breakthroughs and lots yes, of blessings yes. and wounds. And compared to everybody else in the world who's living in fear of even just stepping out of their own home, of you know not even knowing who to trust, whether the media or the government or 
or where to get information, you know, how is it transformed in your life? <laughs> that's really I don't know how, what I did to deserve this but I just feel blessed and loved and taken care of and protected and I just say uh, you know I, I keep telling everybody else like well you know if you especially people that don't believe in God at all you know whatever by whatever name you know you want to they um I, I tell them, I said, you know, you might want to reconsider that because God is there anyway. And he he and she, both Devi and Paramashiva and Parashakti, they're both continuously blessing you and want to, you know, uh, heal you, uh, you know, guide you, protect you, all of it. But if you're not open to it, you, it's like you're putting this wall between you and this love energy that comes towards you so it's not like it's not there like you Absolutely. might just want to look at that and it's your decision um, to receive it yes yes and to me like i what i a big breakthrough last year i um was it last year or this year i don't even know every single time <laughs> when, when uh, swami g one of his satsangs said um if there is no fear um, and there is no pain and no suffering you know uh-huh. like you know that it's not real like and that just clicked with me so strongly. And now, whenever, even when I, uh, you know, I have like back aches or whatever, you know, I, I just remember like there is no pain and no suffering. So it's like, yeah, it's there, but you know, and, and, it's such a beautiful and, cognition, ma. That yeah. something so simple, just one satsang, has given you so much of powerfulness and belief in your life (laughs) and how many of this (laughs) over the last two years i mean that's just one of very many you know like i can't even you know absolutely (laughs) yeah i don't know what to start (laughs) there are no words (laughs) no there are no words yes exactly ma thank you so much ma so is there anything else you would like to share um regarding your experiences or you know any you've gotten yeah, so um, one of um, when, the first uh, year after I went to BDD and I came back, um, my business was not doing very well. I was uh, pretty much like, uh, you know, I, I was always blessed to have, you know, enough money to live at least, but, you know, I wasn't thriving like I used to. And somehow I had this uh, inspiration to... Um, to sign up for SJP, um, to be an SJP. And I, the, my first $5,000, I put it on a credit, my first $5,000 towards that, I put it on a credit card because wow. I didn't have it, you know, to to give it. And, um, and so I just kept praying. I said, you know, I have to, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to contribute to Swamiji's mission and to, to you know, to Sangha and, um, I I just kept going, you know, going to the temple and um, in, in LA and um, volunteering and all kind of whatever, whatever I had a little money save, I would send it towards that. But it just seemed like such a huge thing, like, you know, like when am I ever going to? And I got an Akashic reading from uh, um, Lord Venkateshwara uh, and he, um, he told me to go to and spend time with um, um, in, in LA temple and, and some other things. But all I know is that some miracle happened out of the blue. Like I wasn't even like looking, I didn't apply. I didn't, I got this great job that paid me enough money that I could fulfill my, my commitment to SJP wow. those two years. That's why I moved to Pittsburgh. Wow. Um, and it, it, to me, it's still a miracle. I don't know how it happened, <laughs> other than I just knew to follow whatever I was guided to do. <laughs> and Absolutely. it's just a miracle still to me. Like, I still can believe it. And that's exactly what this whole Sarunya Pita project is. It's just Swamiji giving every being an opportunity to have a huge breakthrough in their life. I mean, he is ultimately going to be showering the wealth. But yes. you get to experience that. Oh, it, it, was a kind of, <laughs> it was so beautiful. The the whole experience, like wow, like I I I somehow like you know 
allow Swamiji to, to manifest this through me. And that's the miracle. Not that I did uh -huh. it, but, but I somehow allowed and, and myself to, to follow the guidance and also to to do what it had to be done to to get this, you know, like I did not want to move to, to move to Pittsburgh. I have to tell you, <laughs> but I said, you know, this is if this is what I have to do. This is what I have to do. This is the this is like the the answer for me specifically, and I'm gonna do it, you know. That's so uh, yes, I I would uh, be happy to talk to anybody that wants to reach out to me about <laughs> that and uh, share a lot more details about that experience uh, because there were many steps to it. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, I just want to tell everybody if you you know when even if you have five dollars to your name, it's still possible because he can do it through us. Wow, so. that's such a beautiful cognition, Ma. And now. Swamiji's bringing you back closer to him, bringing you back to LA to be near him at the temple and the Sangha and experience more miracles. <laughs> yes. So that's what I'm my, on my way right now to move him back that's there. Yes. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you for Thank coming you. here Thank today. You. Thank you for having me, Nityanandam. Thank you, Nityanandam.